let us understand electronic data interchange edi and in this session we are going to understand the implementation of edi that is electronic data interchange a business organization consists of different types of documents business documents like purchase order or invoices in this way customs clearance documents in this way a business organization consists of different types of documents and such documents are to be exchanged maybe within the same organization among various departments like purchase department or sales department production department marketing department finance department in this way within the same organization the business documents may be exchanged or else uh, sometimes the business organization is supposed to exchange the business documents with external agencies like customs clearance department or other departments like uh, uh, customers or logistics service providers in this way the business organization is supposed to exchange the business documents with external agencies also so the business documents are to be exchanged either are to be exchanged either within the business organization or with external agencies to exchange the business documents two mechanisms are available one is a traditional method of exchanging business documents and another is edi that is electronic data interchange nowadays many business organizations are trying to implement edi that is electronic data interchange so whenever a business organization decides to go ahead with edi two options are available one is purchasing edi software which are readily available in the market there are number of edi softwares which are available in the market however they may not suit the requirements of a business organization in such case the business organization may choose the second option that is developing and implementing its own in house edi software however the Uh, the development and implementation of edi software across various business partners is really very complex that is the reason why a systematic approach is required in order to develop and develop and implement an effective edi system let us understand the steps that are involved in the systematic edi approach the figure here shows us the complete steps that are involved in the edi development and implementation phase the very first step here is in depth analysis whenever the business organization decides to go ahead with edi system then the business organization conducts an in-depth analysis generally the cost benefit analysis because a lot of amount is to be spent by the business organization towards the development of edi software because the converter is to be developed a mapper is to be developed integrator is to be developed a communication software is to be developed in this way the edi software development team has to develop a number of components of edi software so the business organization has to pay the amounts to the edi software development team members similarly 
infrastructure is needed computers modems in this way hardware equipment is needed similarly some amount is to be paid towards edi maintenance so so much of cost is involved here cost towards edi software development the cost towards the hardware components and and the cost towards edi maintenance that is the reason why the business organizations conduct cost benefit analysis in order to understand savings and profits from the edi once the business organization satisfies with the outcomes of in depth analysis then they constitute an edi development team this edi development team consists of a steering committee an edi coordinator and a edi development team so these three components with these three components edi development team is constituted and in steering committee the heads of different departments or different business partners of the organization will be the part suppose that the business organization consists of a production department a sales department a marketing department a finance department the heads of all these departments will be the part of this steering committee similarly the head of it department information technology department will also be the part of steering committee because all the heads of uh, departments various departments uh, specify their requirements production department head specifies uh, the requirements and formats of uh, documents similarly finance department uh, head specifies uh, the requirements and formats that are needed for that particular department in this way the different business partners specify their requirements and formats of documents and it is the it hod who can understand all such requirements similarly the legal advisors will also be the part of the steering committee and they resolve legal issues so in this way the steering committee consists of the heads of different departments plus head head of it department plus legal advisors to resolve legal issues then next it is edi coordinator the edi coordinator is appointed uh, who is a software professional having in depth knowledge and experience in edi applications because it is this edi coordinator who has to understand the requirements of all the departments all the business partners and he has to that is edi coordinator has to guide the edi software development team so next it is edi development team this is the team which actually develops the edi software based on the requirements specified by various business partners or various heads of departments and uh, based on the advices given by the edi coordinator so in this way the edi development team works so the steering committee which consists of heads of all the departments plus legal advisors plus it hod who suggests their requirements and it is the edi coordinator who understands and conveys everything to the edi development team which develops the software according to the requirements or formats of the heads formats that are given by the heads of various departments then comes developing the edi solution 
so as part of this one different edi components are developed like uh, converter which uh, translates a uh, non standard edi documents into standard edi documents mapper which converts uh, standard edi documents into non standard edi documents similarly communication software similarly the integrator so these are all the things that will be developed by the edi uh, development team so that is what uh, goes on here next it is edi network provider the business organization has to choose the network service provider because receiving company and uh, sending companies are supposed to have a communication network there may be a direct link or there may be a value added network that is to be chosen so the business organizations choose uh, to go for either direct link or to go for Uh, EDI value added a network based on the pricing and security features so that is next one and last but one it is the installation of EDI after the development of EDI software and after choosing the EDI network uh, service provider then the uh, EDI software is installed among all the business partners then the real thing happens that is a testing thing will go on whether the data gets translated or not whether the data actually gets translated properly or not because non standard EDI documents are to be converted into standard EDI format at the sending side and at the receiving side mapper that is standard edi documents are to be converted back into sta non standard edi document so whether the business documents are getting translated properly or not that is verified similarly transferred whether the business documents get transferred from sending companies in between sending companies and receiving companies that is also being verified so the working of a communication software is tested there similarly whether the uh, business applications are uh, getting integrated or not because the sending companies may be using one type of applications and receiving companies may be using another type of applications and the edi software should get integrated with the business applications of both the sending companies and receiving companies so integration is needed so a converter mapper and integrator and communication software all these are tested here after installation of edi software then very last component here is the delivery of edi software to the business organization <coughs> after ensuring that the test results are correct finally the edi software is announced that it is delivered to the business organization whereby all the business partners of the business organization start making use of the edi software as a regular service so these are all the steps that are involved in the edi implementation the first and foremost one it is the in depth analysis in which the cost benefit analysis is done because a lot of cost is involved towards edi software development towards the hardware components and towards edi maintenance that is the reason why the business organizations conduct in depth analysis that is cost benefit analysis once they satisfy with the outcomes then 
second step it is a edi development team that is a constituted this edi development team consists of a steering committee in which the heads of various business are uh, partners or heads of various departments and it department hod head and uh, the legal advisors will be the part of uh, this uh, steering committee then comes edi coordinator the edi coordinator is a software professional having in depth knowledge and experience in edi applications he is chosen because it is he who lies in between steering committee and the edi development team so it is he or she who has to understand the requirements of business organization and has to pass on that information to the edi development team and the purpose of edi development team is to develop the software based on the requirements that are suggested by the uh, edi steering committee and suggestions given by the edi coordinator then comes the development of actual edi software that is the third step and fourth step is the choosing the edi network provider in between sending companies and receiving companies there may be a direct link or there may be edi value added network which provides better security so based on pricing and security that is being offered the business organization may choose an appropriate edi network service provider then comes the very important phase that is installation of edi the edi is installed uh, among all the business partners and various things are tested whether the business documents are getting translated or not that is conversion should go on similarly mapping should go on similarly whether the communication software is working properly or not that is whether it can send the documents and whether it can receive the documents similarly integrator sending companies and receiving companies may be using different business applications and this edi software should integrate with all such business applications and very very last one is delivery of edi solution finally once uh, the business organization satisfies with the test results then the edi software is used uh, by all the business partners as a regular service so this is about edi implementation